Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Well, aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Seems like an interesting fellow. I might need to lower the settings of this game at some point. Too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spill it out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better Mr. Place. Cox. Blood quality indicates how much XP. You first need to... Mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Follow the red trail to lead your prey into the shadows. F embrace. Press to embrace Clay or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide massive XP boost, but be aware there will be consequences. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yes. Nowhere. Come, it Lord. Right for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Clay! I need to eat you. Where'd he go? There he is. Did I black out? Whoa, I feel giddy. Uh, how do I eat you? What happened? Maybe you're right. Whoa, Nelly. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. 
He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Uh-huh. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Goodbye. Nurse Crane. So, I need an office. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Well, it is a hospital. So, fix. This is a sick ward. How does one go upstairs? Ah, stairs. That's how you ascend. Okay. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. There's so much to remember in this game. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> to analyze. Okay, crafting and weapons. You can craft metal and weapon upgrades. Okay. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. D. Bludgeon, 65 damage, 45 damage. 99 damage, attack speed 5, 10. Ooh. Increases damage, attack by all that. Stun point sounds better. But I need aluminium shards. Uh, huh. Okay. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. Okay. I have so much time now. Okay. So what, what do I need? 300. 3, 6, 9, 12. I'll carry three serums on you. Bite. Increases damage inflicted when using bite in combat. Twenty damage. Really? Level one. 600. Okay, well, I might as well go, go down this route right now. It's useful. So I can upgrade these later on. More health will help a lot, I believe. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete. 
I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... I think she's French. There is nothing here. No antiseptics at all? What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Hope to eat you. So, I guess I'm thirsty? Sorry. Yes. I'll give myself a little... Let's just remove some of these things, actually. Hide out. After remove. Okay, I, I don't know how to remove that, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody in the garden, so through here, Rogue Skull, go to inventory, yes. Ow. We good. Enter the old morgue. How's he so powerful? Fucking hell. That baby the last guy. What's up? Okay, F. I cannot enter. 
I need to stun him, maybe, next time. Stun then drink, then something else. Blood downstairs. Anything to drink? Perhaps a Chardonnay? How do I walk? Alcohol. This key will surely grant me access to Mug, the underground key. I'm assuming. say I'm assuming that um, the skulls have turned this into a new nest quinine and glass vial Balls of Mars, fortifiers, <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective, but they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Which, well, which, <laughs> rich, watery blood sample? Jesus Christ! Me English no good. Where'd he go? He did a thing. Hello. Now, how am I supposed to do this? I want my other weapon. But how do I change my weapon? Ah. Offhand can be the... Hmm. Okay, so how do you walk? That'd be nice. Oh my god, the game's These lagging so much. Feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after me. That makes it so much easier. What's T do? Ow! 
What? I just got bang bang by two homeless guys. What the fuck? Hmm. That's another game I want, to, I want to learn about. You play as a policeman chasing werewolves, I believe. How would you walk? It would be nice if you could just walk. Oh god, he read at me. F. Come here, you fucking vagrant. You can fuck off. There we are. First tartrate. I'll see what's in here first. Wait, so this is the old morgue and yet the body is still pretty darn well preserved. The local investigations, home address and now occupation fisherman. Type of death natural. Cause of death fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary consolidation. So why is why not just put Mr. Spanish Connors influenza? Injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps. Damaged legs and arms. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Open chest. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Chest hemorrhaging. Signs of internal bleeding. So. Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. It's time we ate him. <laughs>